everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name's Stephanie. I make videos every Tuesdays and Fridays at 3 p.m. And if you'd like to follow me on all of my social media, it'll be in the description box below, so make sure you do that. So today's video is going to be a body shop haul. So I wanted to actually change my skincare um, sort of products as such, and I picked up a few little extras for the, like travel essentials for my upcoming holiday with Shane. So I'm gonna start off with um, the little minis first that I picked up and then I'll go into all the other skincare bits. So I've actually just popped it in this little um, sort of body shop mango bag that I got for Christmas from Shane's brother. So um, just to keep them all in place, so I will be taking this little bag with me. Okay, so I'm just gonna take them out as they are on top. So the first thing I picked up is this peppermint cooling foot spray, so quite gross, I do apologise, but you never know, especially, you know, when we go on holiday if, if our feet need to cool down. It smells like peppermint as well, so yay! <laughs> so, got that. Next I have the Vitamin E Face Mist. Now, again, just wanted to pick this up for um, the holiday, I'm walking around and stuff, I could just have it in my bag, so, you know, if we're a bit hot and whatnot, it'd be nice to just spritz over our face. Hand sanitizers, my absolute favourite hand sanitizers are from the body shop, so this one is the mango one. I absolutely love the mango scent, and I will leave all prices and whatnot in the down bar below as well, because I've forgotten them offhand, so sorry. <laughs> and for some reason I decided to pick up two hand creams, so I've got a Satsuma and a mango one. So, um, different packaging, I'm not sure if the Satsuma one's a bit older or whatnot. Ugh, I my mouth. But, yeah, I picked up two hand creams, again, the hand creams, you know, they're quite small, you just go through them, so, and at the moment they're quite, they're quite handy anyway, so if I don't need to, I'll probably need to take one on holiday anyway, but, yeah. And then I've got a couple extra little minis as well, um, so I've got a little mango body butter and mango shower gel, so you shouldn't have the shower gel, because I've already got a Ted Baker one for the holiday, um, but obviously I will have a little bit because my favourite scent. Um, body butter, so, you know, with the legs keeping nice and moisturised. Oh my god. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna have a mango sorbet on holiday. It just smells so good. Oh yeah. So, I've got those. Okay, now moving on to skincare as such, I have got a couple of samples um, which came with it, which is really nice. So the first one is the Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. I still have yet to try this. I'm pretty sure everyone and their nan has most probably tried this, but um, I'm still yet to try it. So I don't know, I've just been keeping it. I've, I've had all these products for a couple of weeks now and I have just been sort of like keeping it and like, I wanna try it, but I don't know when or yeah. So, next little sample I've got is the tea tree oil, so I um, had really good reviews about this, you just pop this onto like the actual spot or area that you want to sort of target and um, it pretty much gets rid of it in a day or two. Grr. <laughs> so yes, a good little sample to try before I buy, which is always good. I did actually pick up um, the tea tree flawless BB cream in the shade 01. Now this is obviously suitable for, oh god, hair for blemished skin anyway, and in the shade 01, it is a good colour match. Um, so I will just pop, oh it's sort of exploded everywhere, never mind. So, good little colour match, I will just swatch it. I think that would be a definitely good colour match, obviously, being the lightest one. Smells like tea tree, obviously if you don't like the tea tree smell, you most probably won't like this as a BB cream because obviously this scent is quite strong, but yeah, I'm going to give it a go. I will take it with me on holiday as well. I will try it out before I go, definitely. Um, but yeah, I don't necessarily, I don't know what to take foundation wise. I don't want to take a, like a full heavy coverage one anyway. Um, and so BB creams don't actually work out for me, so it's a bit risky trying this, but I wanted to try it out anyway, and you know, I don't want to take Double Wear or the Urban Decay All Nighter because they're both really thick, heavy coverage um, foundations. Very good though, but obviously I want my skin to breathe on holiday as well. So anyway, getting off track, I'm going to take that anyway. Okay, next I picked up the uh, Tea Tree Anti-Imperfection Daily Solution. So this is sort of like a serum, um, serum oil as such. So really nice packaging. I really like the updated body shop packaging um, as well so I just think it looks all quite sophisticated and very nice so um, yeah I've tried this a couple of times now and I must say it is working I have actually tried all these products 
already so I do apologise <laughs> but um, I just couldn't wait, I just couldn't wait, I had really good reviews obviously that's why I got them and wanted to try them out myself and, and my skin is you know getting better, I mean it's not cleared it up in a day but you can see a difference after using it the one, after using it once. I was a bit silly and picked up two facial cleansers, facial washes by accident, I thought there was a face wash and then sort of a cleanser, I'm literally so stupid. So. I picked up both of the tea tree face washes. <laughs> so this one is the foaming cleanser. So this one has a pump and I've used this one more than the other one at the moment because I don't know, I just find it a bit easier. Um, obviously with the pump, it's a bit wet because where I use it this morning. <laughs> and um, basically it's a lot, it, it's more softer on your skin as a cleanser rather than the other one. Um, Cause you know, it turns into a foam and I've just dripped water all down me, great. Um, but yeah, basically it pumps out into a foam, really, really good. I have seen a difference so far and I'm really, really, really pleased with it. It's really soft. It leaves my skin so soft after as well. So before I moisturise, I'm like, oh, oh, it's quite nice, quite soft. So um, yeah, absolutely recommend this. Seen a difference after the first use as well. You know, it's not cleared my skin straight away, but it is on its way to clearing, which is really, really good and basically why I got it. <laughs> and then the other one is the Skin Clearing Facial Wash. Um, this one is more like jelly form as such. So um, obviously the other one's a lot more softer on your skin, but you know, you can use this just as good. Um, so obviously once my foam one runs out, then I will obviously go on to this one. It's pretty much the exact same thing, um, but that one's just a lot softer on the skin. So, but yeah, I love the packaging so much. And then the last product in the haul is actually the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Mattifying Toner. Now, in the reviews, loads of people was complaining that it doesn't um, mattify their skin as such. So I didn't actually like use a toner for my skin, especially when I've used like a face wash to take my makeup off and it sort of, you know, it cleanses as it is. And then I don't tone after, which is really bad. But I used to only sort of use a toner on my face after I used like micellar water. So yeah, I mean, I wanted to give this a go anyway because, you know, I just feel like with cleansing and then you have to tone after with your skin so it is sort of you know the rules so I am going to use this a bit more I have used it a couple of times actually um really really good as well so some people say as well just to pour this into like a little spray bottle and then just spray it after you, over your face after you've come out of the shower and that will really help as well but I haven't tried that yet <laughs> I've popped a few drops on a cotton pad and just gone all, all around my face with it so yeah and that's before and after I put makeup on I should probably use this this morning though <laughs> That's the only thing. <laughs> so um, yeah, so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you've tried any of the Body Shop skincare range yourself. And you know, let me know your experiences and what's good, what isn't good. And yeah, I will see you in my next video.